So another vlog, another day out with me and Scoot, and we're at EBC Breaks, Northampton, like a second home to us. Why are we here? Well, James, the CEO at EBC Breaks, has got a Range Rover Sport. Now, I don't like them. I never have. But we ball about in this regularly, go to our Starbucks, get a coffee and have meetings. And I must admit, it's a good ride and it's a great car and it's fully equipped. And he says it's the best car in the world. After all, it's a Land Rover, Range Rover Sport. This is the three litre twin turbo diesel. Gives you about 306 brake horsepower. We ball about in it all the time. You feel like gangsters. We get told we look like drug dealers, but we're literally, we're just going to Starbucks for a coffee. Now, I've come to see James today because this looks great and I know he loves it, but Centurion have given me something a little bit more special. Let me go and get it. Oh, switched up the game with Centurion's SVR. This is currently on the market on their website for £83,000, 2018 Estoril Blue. But when I think of SVRs, I think of Super Veloce Roadster, the Lamborghini. But I'm so disappointed that I actually like this car. So this is actually the first time I've ever driven a Range Rover and to drive the SVR has surprised me. Now, they've been around for a while. Yesterday, just on three separate occasions, people asked me, as a joke, how much for a kilo of cocaine? I didn't quite get it, but these have a stigma attached to them that if you're balling in one of these, you must be a drug dealer. Obviously, I'm not. I'm making YouTube videos and not getting many views, but look at the difference between these two. This one is gorgeous, comfortable, amazing, really well spec. James absolutely love it. As I said, he says the best car in the world, but this one switches it up a little bit more, gives you the 23 inch wheels with the Centurion stance on that. It's got the upgraded front bumpers, the more aggressive look. It's got nostrils in the bumper. It's got the bucket seats inside. It's just taking things up to another level. We're trying to make James feel inferior with his Range Rover Sport. And I think he's going to get some upgrades. When we're at EBC, it's always great to pop in at the Centre of Excellence and see what is happening. This is the R&D hub for global EBC brakes. And we've got a Corvette Club UK members car in. That's the C6. It's being measured for a two-piece uh, floating disc set. Um, upgrade for the member, but also rolling out to the bigger market. So we get people in contact with EBC. EBC come to me regularly and say, Chira, can you get us this? Can you get us that? And through my contacts with Petrol Hedonism and our members and our ambassadors and our sponsors, we always come in with the goods. They've also got a Type R in here, obviously having something looked at as well. But this is where they measure everything up, tooling, etc. And we're going to be getting the GT4 wannabe in here very soon for the big brake kit. And then that will roll out the brake kit to the Boxster and Cayman community as an aftermarket set. <laughs> So we're balling in the SVR. It is a very comfortable place to be. I'm really surprised at how dynamic it is, how well it responds. The steering is fantastic. Let's compare it to the Stelvio and the G-Wagon. The Stelvio, certainly of the three, is the sportier model, 510 brake horsepower and a very beautiful looking car. The Range Rover SVR versus the G-Wagon. Personally, Mercedes have got the interior, the spec, the tech completely down. I am surprised. The SVR spec is great. The screens, the everything on this is fantastic. Just found out it's missing the software upgrade. So that needs to be done on it and that will just bring it up to date. But between the two, G-Wagon or SVR, I actually don't know. Scoot, what do you think? Right, so I've just taken over the camera and now in the SVR. So, Chirio said about what he loves and about this and comparing it to the G-Wagon and Stelvio. Now, we've done all three now, experienced all three, and good things about them, some not so. I mean, with the SVR, I never actually been in one, same with the other two. I, it's in your normal kind of Range Rover, just another like steroid SVR version. Comparing all three together now, I think being a teenager, kind of like a young adult or say in the whole supercar scene, I'll tend to sway towards the G-Wagon. I see them all about London or they're your usual typical 
rapper's car, if you get what I mean. The Stelvio, I still think, is my favourite. One, because of the sound. Two, because it's the cheapest by a long way. The SVI look around about 80 grand. G-Wagons go well over 150k. The Stelvio is still the whole mid, like, 50k range. I think it's just, I don't know, I think it looks better as well compared to this. I think this is, again, like I said, your whole usual family car Range Rover, which it is. It's only got the SVR badge. Uh, the G-Wagon, of course, looks good, but for some reason, I still think it just looks like a box from behind in a way that it's got no characteristics compared to the Stelvio. So, out of the three, I'd go for that, but this is very, very cool and very luxurious inside. It's cool to cruise around in, like Churro said, and it's just one of them cars we could just enjoy and like we are today and have a like, day in their life, just going to different places and, you know, it's a nice place to be in. So, another stop on today's madness is easyframe.co.uk. Scoot, a couple of weeks ago we dropped off a little gift to be prepped for your dad. We're going to go and pick it up, check out this video. It's a bespoke framing service or it's a click and order service on their website, easyframe.co.uk. We're here in the SVR, having a bit of fun, out and about. Next stop, we're going to go pick up my SL300. Right, so we're inside the heart of EasyFrame, the office, where all magic happens. Well, no, it actually happens out there, as you saw in the video. Nick, have you got this finished article for us? I have indeed, mate. Wow. Go. Check this out. Richard, pride of place in your bedroom, above the headboard. Haha, <laughs> a great day out at the studio with the Caymans. And obviously, Richard, this is from you, for you, sorry, from Scoot and me. Thanks for supporting us. It's a new car day as well. Kind of new car day. I haven't had the car properly for about two and a half years. Uh, before the head gasket went, uh, we had that all fixed up at Supercar Service. Car was there a good nine months. Wasn't in a rush for it. Got other cars, but it's my Mercedes 300 SL. It had a full respray three years ago and it had a bit of a reaction in the paint. The guys at Custom Artworks were good enough to take it back and put it right with a bare metal respray. Um, we're gonna go get it back. It's been over a year. I wasn't in a rush for it back during uh, lockdown. So here we go. Let's go pick up my 1992 300SL. It's lowered, it's sitting on a nice set of AMG alloys. It's one of my favorite cars. Haven't seen it for a while. So definitely gonna be driving it about this summer. Okay, we just popped in to pick up Trade Plate and my Uncle Aldo, but he's busy at the moment working really hard with Bert and Kevin playing poker. That's what they do. This is how they do it. Take that. They're in a work bubble. Oh, they've put their masks on, aren't they good? <laughs> Jokers. Right, it's literally like new car day for me. The 1992 300 SL. I've owned this car for about five, six years, but it's come back absolutely gleaming after a one year renovation on the full paint job, bare metal paint job by Custom Artworks in Sutton. They've done an absolutely awesome job. We haven't pushed it because it's been COVID, so there's not been many car shows, but this summer you'll see this car as one of the petrol hedonism fleet turning up to events up and down the country. Looking forward to getting it plated, MOT'd, and back on the road soon. So it's been a great day down at EBC Brakes, pick up Cherry's car and the surprise for dad. Now I've just come back from work and it is dark outside, the light's gone, um, but I thought why not get his reaction on camera. So currently I'm in my room, the gift is right there. I'm gonna go into the little office and give him the gift. So I'm in dad's little office and as you can see, he has got his eyes shut. So the moment of truth, 
Um, Dad literally has no idea. I'm following Cherry's instructions and giving it as a little surprise. So, Dad, are you ready? Yep. Are you sure? I think so. Are you positive? I'm a bit worried. Okay, well, it's not moving, it's not alive, it's not a King Cobra. <laughs> that is for sure. Right, so, you can look to your right without opening your eyes. And you're ready, three, two, one. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That's my car. So from the studio when we went down from oh, Southampton. It's so cool. And how good is that frame with the pictures that even I took? Absolutely brilliant. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. That is the it's cool, coolest isn't it? Thing. It is wicked. And it looks awesome with the white and black frame. It does, it's absolutely stunning. I want that car. I wonder <laughs> whose car it is. Yeah, no, you can't Whose is it? it? It's mine, I can't believe it. It's amazing. <laughs> So you took photos, cool. they are amazing. I know, I wonder who did take them, <laughs> I wonder. Funny, mate, you did a good job. They are stunning. Oh, Chiro, he's the man. He thank is, you, he thank, is the man. Thank you so much, Chiro, mate. That's made my absolute year. So, again, a massive thanks to Chiro, but also Easy Frames. So of course, as you can see, it's the frame who have done it. We collected it today, and um, they've done a smashing job. And also, you would have seen in the video of how it was made. So, again, a massive shout out to Easy Frame UK for this. Of course, a sponsor of Petrol Hedonism, and I think by my dad's reaction, and even me, they've Amazing. absolutely smashed it. Yeah. So there we have it. Dad absolutely loves it. I'm so happy how the photos came out. Easy frame, absolutely smashed it. And again, thank you so much, Chiro, for that. And yes, it's been a great day. And also, I can just lay in bed now. We've got actually my three favourite cars. Well, one's not actually arriving soon. The MT12, Pagani's on the Cinque, and my favourite car of all time, the CLK GTR. So, hint for Chiro, let me film a CLK GTR. Okay? Anyway, thank you so much for watching, everyone. Um, and... As Chiro is not here right now, I'm going to sign it out. So make sure you like, share, comment what you thought about today's video. Comment what do you think about the Stelvio versus the G-Wagon versus the SVR. Maybe one day we can get a drag race between all three. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.